Hey folks, this recording uh, will basically help you get started uh, with uh, integrating Git, uh, Terraform, and Abstra. Um, so that uh, the the ultimate end goal is that you make a change uh, to your Terraform file in Git, um, and when the pull request is created, a Terraform plan is created, um, which can be reviewed, and then when the uh, when the pull request is approved and the code merged it automatically applies and a network change is effectively made okay um, there there will be another uh, meeting discussing like the rationale and the uses of something like this uh, this one is going to focus only on uh, the setup like how do we how do we go from uh, nothing to this integration so uh, to begin with, uh, we are going to need uh, an internet accessible abstract. Um, in this particular case, I've used uh, like a abstract Cloud Labs instance. It's logged in, uh, it's ready to go, uh, it's created. Um, the next thing you will need uh, is you'll need to set up Terraform Cloud. Uh, so Terraform Cloud is basically like, um, uh, like cloud-based Terraform instances provided by HashiCore. Um, I already have a Terraform cloud already. Uh, it actually authenticates with GitHub. It, if you already have a GitHub ac account, it takes like uh, five minutes to create your own uh, Terraform cloud instance. Uh, this is mine. Um, the first thing we want to do is if you don't have an organization, you want to create a new organization. Um, as it happens, I already have an organization, uh, but creating an organization is pretty straightforward. So I'm going to make one. I'll just call this uh, demo, and I create the org. All right. So the next thing you can do is uh, create a workspace. Uh, uh, it automatically pushes you out there. Um, and we want to choose an API-driven workflow. So let's go ahead and do that. So I choose an API-driven workflow. Um, I put it in the default project and I'll call this All right. So now we have the uh, demo uh, we have the uh, workspace name, we have the workspace created, right? And we want to remember the organization name and the workspace name. So the organization name is recorded demo and the uh, workspace name is GitHub Rec Demo. Uh, this will become important later. Uh, for now, just note that these exist and where they exist. The next thing we will do is we'll create the environment variables for after the the after url username and password now um, if you created your after instance using uh, the, the after cloud labs these should be available for you um, and the place uh, obviously i'm going to stop sharing when i set the after password because uh, one might not want to have that out in the public um, so uh, where we go to go create this is we go to variables add a variable um, if it's a password we mark it as sensitive uh, and we mark them as environment variables so we create a create after url That would be this. Um, then we create the abstra user. And uh, 
of Peters and then we had a variable called abstract pass it's also an environment variable it's a sensitive variable but when you type it you can see what's going on um, so I'm going to stop sharing for just a second the password is not visible anymore okay so we've created so what you've done what, what have we done so far uh, we've created an organization we've created a workspace and in the workspace we have set up the variables uh, so that this workspace can now touch abstract next thing we want to do is we want to create a terraform token like this is a user token um, and this will be used to so that github can operate terraform as me as as as, as my username so do that go to user settings tokens and create an api token this is again a secret um, and it'll be shown only once so i'm going to stop sharing for just a second while i click this you can see i created another token called record a demo just created uh, and this is basically uh, it, it's it's effectively you, you cannot see it again uh, but i've copied it elsewhere right so having done this the next thing to do is to go to github and set up github so you can start at uh, the GitApps um, uh repo, and you can basically clone this repo. So I'm going to use my public GitHub account. I'm going to call this uh, don't mind making it public. So I'll create this repo from the template. So there you go. So this is the the demo has been cloned, um, and uh, it's now in in my repo. Um, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, one thing we are going to need is for actions to be enabled. Uh, if you don't have the permissions to have actions uh, enabled on your uh, on your uh, repo, uh, you're going to um, you know you're going to have to go and uh, uh, get the permission from your admin. Um, basically, this works off of actions, so you need actions. Um, this one, it, it, the default branch is master in this. Um, if, if you want to make that main, as some people do, that's fine. Uh, if you do that, you need to go into the workflows, the apply workflow, you will need to say like any push to main, this will have to be changed to main. So, um, so we started off, you know, so we've set up, we have our own Git repo now. Then we need to set up the variables for the GitHub repo. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to update the TF API token, um, the Terraform API token, uh, and this is again, of course, a secret. So I'm going to stop sharing for a second and I'm going to set it up. So you go in here. Go into settings, secrets and variables, actions. Um, and so now we're back i've created the tf api token uh the next thing i want to do is i want to add variables uh, and these will be variables that help this GitHub point to the correct organization and the correct workspace in Terraform. So these basically map to the uh, organization and the workspace. So let's go set it up. Uh, 
and the value is I call it demo I make another one df workspace and the value for that is GitHub back demo. Let me just make sure I use dash. Yeah, I did. All right. Now, <clears throat> with this step, uh, GitHub knows how to hit up a uh, Terraform cloud, right? It knows to use this TF API token and it knows to uh, use uh, this workspace in this organization. So, that's it. At this point, um, all the three components that we have know how to talk to each other. Um, Terraform knows uh, how to talk to um, Astra, uh, and GitHub knows how to talk to Terraform. Now, the only thing that remains is for us to pull down the code, uh, make some changes, and see what happens. All right. Right. So first thing we need to do, obviously, is to you know clone the repo. Right now, this is like a super simple. Uh, Terraform file, um, all this is going to do is it's going to create, uh, it, it's going to basically create like a property set in Abstract. And let's just make like a small change and make a branch. Um, at this point, you know, if I just if we just push it into uh, master, it's gonna it's gonna make a change. But let's let's be proper. So I'll say now. So we made a change, um, and we push the change to GitHub. Now, if you go into GitHub. You can see GitHub says like, "Hey, there was a there was a change," and you go ahead and create a PR, and as soon as this PR gets created, um, or fairly soon, it says, "You know, it's 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 queued up a check, and the check that's been queued up is a Terraform plan, right?" So. Uh, you can see it here as well. Um, so Terraform plans been made. There is a branch, and it takes a it takes like a, a few minutes because this is a fairly straightforward change uh, for the Terraform plan to execute. There you go. All the checks pass, and after the Terraform plan was executed. You can see it says that you can see the details of the Terraform plan. Plus, if you go back to the PR, you can see it wants to make one change. So this is a brand new uh, Astra. So uh, the property set that we made is brand new. Uh, it says like you know you want to change one, uh, you want to add one. There's nothing to change and nothing to destroy. So you go out here. You can actually see the details of the change, right? It wants to add this, and then you go ahead and you do. Uh, since I'm the only user on this, like I cannot actually approve my own PR, so we'll pretend like somebody else did the approval, and then uh, you go ahead and do the merge. Oops. 
Now when this PR gets merged, you will notice that um, a Terraform apply is initiated. Uh, and in fact, you can go into Terraform You can actually see uh, what's been going on there uh, in terms of like what you know what's uh, what runs have been going on there. Uh, so you can see that the Terraform plan got executed, and the next thing is going to be a, a Terraform apply, which is currently getting executed. And this takes a couple of minutes uh, to to execute. Um, and yeah, so there you go. This one succeeded, um, and you can see that one got created. And if you go to the Terraform, uh, if you go to the abstract, uh, you can see that we got a property set created just the way we wanted it. All right, so. You know, this took about 20 minutes. Uh, we are able to connect uh, GitHub, Terraform, and Afsa together, and basically use PRs to run Terraform plan, and do a merge to run Terraform apply. And um, uh, and we took like a super simple example that would execute fairly quickly. Um, this can be done for anything that you can do with Terraform and Afsa. Uh, and you know there will be a subsequent recording which talks about like the rationales and has a much more detailed demo. All right, folks, thanks.